So I'm just outside of Burnett, Texas. Uh, Burnett is in uh, Central Texas, just to the west of Austin. It's about an hour away. It's about two hours north of San Antonio, maybe three hours south of Dallas, just to give you some perspective. I'm at a little place called Spider Mountain. Now, Spider Mountain is one of the only downhill mountain biking resorts in the south. In most places where you see downhill mountain biking, it's lift access, and it's you find them normally on like ski resorts, Vail, Breckenridge. Uh, Aspen, Snowmass, Trestle, all those places. This is a lift access mountain biking park dedicated just to mountain biking. Great place. A couple of the pluses. One, if you're wanting to get some exposure to what downhill mountain biking is, this is one of the only places you can come to in the south to get access to that. Two, lots and lots of trails. Uh, nearby, you have lake access. So as you can imagine, in the summer, when it gets really, really hot in Texas, you can go take a dip and cool off. Uh, Great, well-maintained systems, uh, friendly staff. Uh, it takes you about seven minutes to get to the top of the lift. Only a couple downsides. One, because of the heat, it is extremely dusty, which means as you go down the hills, especially as you hit some turns, you lose a little bit of traction. It can it can test your nerves. And two, it's just it's a smaller mountain. It's it's nothing like what you're gonna get out west. Some of the larger resorts, like the Vail Resorts or the Icon uh, Resorts. But if you're looking to, to level up your skills, which I'm trying to do, and just get a little bit better and get more comfortable. So if you ever do venture out west and hit the big mountains, you can have a really good time and not be riding your brakes all day. So I'm hitting up my third run. It is hot, it's supposed to hit 100 degrees today. And I'm just trying to get more comfortable with some small jump tracks. They have one blue track that's got a lot of features on it uh, called Sidewinder. We might hit that before the day's over. But I'm gonna hit my third round on a little blue jump track just to see if I can get more comfortable with my feet on my pedals as I get up into the air a little bit. So let's go have some fun. All right, run number three. Ooh, a little wide. It's so dusty, you really don't trust these corners like this one right here very much. But you have to in order to make your turn. Adjust the camera just to make sure I'm getting the right angle. Okay, there we go.
definitely getting better, more comfortable. Learning how to pump the bike more really, really helps. Gives a little bit more control. Getting a little bit more comfortable with the air that comes with the jumps. Noticing that the bike doesn't really weigh you down like you're concerned it will to throw off your balance once you get up in the air a little bit. It's uh, your body really is the center part of mass and the bike follows the body which provides some reassurance I still don't trust the turns here just too dusty okay so the goal this time is really simple we're going to try to uh, let off our brake a little bit earlier on that first jump line just to get a little bit more room and to get all the way through um, that little downhill part where I always seem to really walk my bike so that's what we're aiming for Better start, so I'm looking at the trail, knowing what your lines are. That's why it kind of helps hitting the same trail over and over again. You just know where everything's at. You know where the turns are coming, you know where the best lines are, you know where the obstacles are at, you know what parts to avoid. You want to get better? Hit the same trails over and over and over again. No different than any other sport, right? Just repetition, repetition. Whew. I can't tell you, I'm feeling my legs. I'm not even really trying to push it right here, just trying to save my energy for the last line.
much of that hair is through here. not staying as long as I'd hoped. It, it, the heat just got to be too much. Yesterday I did about 25 miles on a mountain bike uh, in 95 degree weather. Today my, my arms are just a little bit shot and I really wanted to come out here to test the uh, the jump lines and I did. I, I learned a couple things but that last run I could just tell my, my shoulders and my arms were just not as strong as I'd like them to be. It's kind of important because I, I want to get the bike up and push it out. If I'm not I'm having, if I'm struggling to get that out in front of me, uh, I found myself, my, my body weight naturally going over the bars. And that's the last thing you want. You, you don't want to go head over foot in front of the bike and, and wipe out. So for the sake of safety, I'm going to call it a day, but I'll be back out here again. The kids really want to come and see it. I got the practice I wanted to. Good day all in all. And you get to see a little bit of what Spider Mountain is like. You've never been out here? We're checking it out. Uh, tickets are, I think, roughly $60. Season passes are like $300. Gives you 365 days out here. They're open Friday through Monday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Sometimes they have some guys out here grilling food so you can pick it up. I bring uh, a Yeti cooler out here, stock it full of drinks and waters, and that way you know, my, my car is not even but 200 feet away from the lift. Makes it really, really easy just to hydrate and get back on the trail. Uh, check it out, Spider Mountain, just outside of Burnett, Texas.